what's up you guys welcome back if you're new to the channel welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for your continuous support on today's video we got a 2024 toyota grand highlander and on this one we're going to be installing a tow hitch figure i make a simple video on how to do it so the main component we got here is the tow hitch it already comes with the wire harness already included you know easy plug and play you ain't got to run no harness all the way up to the front with a fuse block and you got a lower bumper cover fascia right here, already pre-cut, so you don't have to really measure out anything. You got your kick sensor, and I'm going to talk a little bit more on what that does in a little bit. What else we got here? We got your kick sensor bracket. We'll talk about what that does in a little bit as well. No drills will be required. Pretty simple. First thing you want to do is access this little push pin on the side of the bumper. Get the little push pin out, comes off pretty easy. And you're going to remove this little outer cover that kind of surround the lower bumper. And it's going to expose another push pin that holds the bumper on. Now I find it easy to remove the little 10 millimeter you see right here. That way it gives you more room to kind of flex that outer cover. And that way it's easier to remove this push pin right here. Go ahead and pop that off. Pop that one off too. And make your way to your tail light. Remove this little cover that hide the screws. Do the same thing to the other side. And it's gonna expose the bumper bolts. That's holding the bumper on to the body. Take those 10 millimeter screws out. You wanna lift the vehicle up. And it's not really much to it, guys. You're gonna find four push pins underneath. Second one, third one. You got your fourth one right there. Go ahead and remove those. You're gonna find a screw on the left-hand side. Take that screw out. One push pin that's holding it on. Now this is the lower, lower bottom. See, all I did was remove the screws right here, push pin right there, and two more screws. Do the same thing with the other side. Now, with, a help, with somebody's help, you want to remove the bumper. You don't want to do it by yourself because you don't want it to fall and scratch and get scratched. And you just ask for assistance. And, you know, you want to do a clean job. You're going to find a connector in there. You want to unplug that. That kind of routes to the park sensors. Make sure you get some help because it's pretty wide. It's going to be a little impossible to carry it by yourself. There you have it. Now you're looking at the back of the Grand Highlander without the bumper. You can see your blind spot monitor sensors. See your rear impact bar. You know, for safety reason, just in case you get rear-ended. You know, you got that bar there to kind of absorb the crash. Now you got your lower bumper outside of the car. That's your kick sensor right there. So if you got... Groceries in your hand, you just kind of kick on the lower bumper, your tailgate will open. That's what helps do that. And these are clips around along the side here that you see, you're just going to remove those. Here's a little closer view. Just make your way around removing all these push pins and clips. And that's going to remove the old cover on the bumper you just removed. And you're going to make room to install this one that already is, that's already pre-cut, so you ain't got to really cut nothing. It's already going to be a perfect fit. So go ahead and make your way and remove all the clips you see. That's the old kick sensor bracket removed. You could throw that away. You won't need it no more because remember the kit came with some new ones, a kick sensor and a kick sensor bracket. The only purpose of the new one because the new fascia is going to be placed a little differently because of the cutout. That's why it was important for them to send you a new one. So just go ahead and make your way around all the clips. Remove the old facial. You won't need it anymore because it has no cutout. Here's the old one. Here's the new one you're going to install. Go ahead and rip it out the bag. And you want to do the same thing. Now you want to install the new one. Align the tabs, you know, carefully. Take your time, you know, because there's a lot of them. So you want to make sure they're all sitting flush. None of them's crooked and bent. Take your time installing it. 
And here's your new kick sensor bracket and new kick sensor module. You see this little mounting tab and this little screw hole right here? Just gonna go ahead and line up your new sensor to the bracket. You wanna fit it right in this tab right here. And the screw that's provided in the kit, just go ahead and tighten it up. Now you're gonna route your little sensors, the red and black wire you see there. Just gonna take it. It's already starting with the red first. Red is gonna go on top, and there's gonna be this little this little slot for it to sit in. Just went ahead and push it in. I have to adjust it back. You know, just get a feel for it. If you don't see it going in, just back out a little bit, realign and position. It should go in easy. So you got the red one in, you wanna do the same thing with the black wire. All it is, that's what's gonna be sensing for your feet. Once you kick the bumper, to let it know to open up the back door. Some models have it, some models don't. If your model doesn't come with the kick sensor option, then you won't need to do this step. This is only for the models with the kick sensor option. Usually the limited or the XLE models. You got a little double-sided tape, some little mounting holes that you're gonna need. And it's just gonna sit right there on the new fascia that you just installed, the little pre-cut one. We got push pin, that's where your double-sided tape's gonna line up. It's like, I'm gonna remove the double-sided tape. Align it with the push pin tabs that's already there. You just wanna apply a little pressure to the bumper, make sure it sticks. Go ahead and pop some push pins in. Just like that. And all you need is two. So you, the two that you remove from the old kick sensor bracket, you could just save two of them so you can use them for the new one. Apply some pressure, make sure the double sided stick. You got a little sensor harness right here. Just go ahead and plug it to the original factory harness. Clip it on. That's the little push pins that we installed. That's where the double-sided tape is. That's the new sensor harness. That's where you're riding the red and black harness. Now you wanna make your way underneath. You're gonna find these little caps blocking the bolt holes where the hitch is gonna line up to. On the other side, you're gonna find two as well. They come off pretty easy with a little flathead screwdriver. Just pop them off, it's gonna expose the bolt holes. Already pre-drilled, so no drilling required. Already tapped and everything. So it makes it super easy. You don't have to go in there with a drill bit and trying to thread the hole. Four bolts are provided in the kit and it's just gonna go along the side of the hitch right here. Two on each side. Get a better visual, that's where your bolt's gonna go. Now with the help of assistant again, because it's pretty heavy, so get somebody to help you kind of line it up. Don't try to do it by yourself, safety first. And then start, you know, threading those bolts in by hand. Here's how they look. They're not tight yet. I'm just kind of giving you a better visual. And that's how it pretty much look. It already comes with a little harness just in case you wanna run a trailer. Get your torque wrench out. Like I said, safety first, you wanna make sure those bolts are nice and tight. Tighten to a manufacturer specification. You don't wanna do it you know, too loose, leave them too loose. You, know, you don't know what they're gonna be pulling, so you wanna make sure those bolts are on nice and tight. Some people are gonna be towing you know, their little camper, a little U-Haul, you wanna make sure it's tight. With the help of an assistant again, get somebody to help you put the bumper back on, nice and flush. Now you see how the pre-cut lower bumper fascia comes in handy? It fits perfectly. Now get your little push pin, reinstall that. The other side too. Reinstall your little screws. The other side, you wanna reinstall your little tail light cover. Pop that into place. Same thing with the other side. Now underneath, you want to install the little four push pins that was underneath the bumper. 
towards the exhaust area. These little screws, don't forget those on the corner of the bumper. That's pretty much it. Now, if you want this trailer harness working, one tip I, I must add is you're gonna need a little converter and you wanna just look toward the driver's side rear quarter panel, remove that little cup holder. There's gonna be this little pigtail harness, you see? Now, if you want that trailer harness working, you're gonna have to get a converter box. So if you need it for a bike rack, I wouldn't worry about it. I'm gonna do a little kick test to see if the back door is functioning properly. That's what the kick sensor is for. If you have groceries in your hand, you can do a little kick at the bottom of the bumper to open and close the back door. That's the kick sensor we're installing in the earlier. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the 2024 Grand Highlander. Beautiful car, spacious, comfy, loaded with technology. And this one is the Grand Highlander Hybrid Limited. So it's fully loaded, got all the bells and whistles. So hopefully one day I'll be able to afford one myself. If you have a family, you can take it out. If you are, you know, if you're by yourself, you'll still look cool in it. You won't lose any cool points. So there you have it, guys. That's the hitch right there. Nicely cut on the pre-cut lower bumper fascia. Like I said, very beautiful car. So that's how you install the hitch on a Toyota Grand Highlander. If you find this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on my next how-to video. Thanks for watching.